Alright guys, so I've been asked, I hope you can see my face, uh, by this one guy on YouTube to, well actually I wasn't asked by him to do this, but he asked me if I could explain to him how to do something in RPG Maker 2, okay? What he asked me to do is he wanted to know how the scripts work, okay? Well... I want to explain that to you in just a minute. I'm going to find part two here. Okay, yes, it's called creating events. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is you want to learn that there's a script editor in the game. All right, I'm going to read to you from the instruction booklet what it says here. All right, and it says open the script editor by selecting script and create new data. Entry, oh, I'm sorry. Enter an arbitrary script name in name, which isn't required. Next, make sure the type is set to content. Type in quotes and content in quotes. Okay? Using a model as the start in quotes, method determines it as a content type script in quotes. I haven't really delved into this much myself, but anyways. Choosing a script. There is a large white area in the editor. It will be used to set the script commands, here and after referred to as com commands. Okay, move the cursor to the white area. Press the X button to display the command menu. Select screen display. And this is in quotes, text, and then message. This will display the text, uh, colon, message. Or is that a semicolon? I don't know. Window. Press the X button again to display the text input, in quotes, screen, where you'll enter the text. It isn't necessary yet, but there are commands that require the setting of time, in quotes, and F, in quotes, as a unit. In this case, F in quotes stands for frames, and one frame is one thirtieth of a second. In other words, 30 frames equals one second. Remember that this isn't the continuous time of the event, but rather the time it takes for a change to occur. Ah. Alright. Entering messages. The controller or the keyboard can be used to enter a message. Alright. If using the controller, the cursor will be used to select characters at the bottom of the screen, character by character, to compose a message. The text entered will be displayed in the gray area at the upper portion of the screen. Enter the statement, good morning. Hold the R1 button down and use the directional buttons to move the cursor within the bracket to make any changes. Up to three lines can be entered per page. The page number will change every three lines, depending on the font size. Once entry is complete, select Update Data and Exit. This completes the script process for the time being. All right, let me check the time on this video because I have to check it. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for the patience. Uh, okay, so various functions in the script editor: insert and edit. When editing a comment, oh, I'm sorry, command that had been set. Select edit by putting the cursor on the command you'd like to change and pressing the X button. Also, when you want to insert a command between two commands, move the cursor in between the commands and create the desired command. Copy and paste. Select copy while the cursor is on the command and a record of the command temporarily. Or, oh, I'm sorry. Record the command temporarily. Selecting paste will paste a command from memory. Okay. Multiple selection. If you wish to select multiple different commands, press the X button at the command you wish to select. Then move the cursor using the up and down directional buttons to the end of the area you wish to select and, re and release the button. Although it can be used in several, I'm sorry, in sequential numbers, it is a useful feature. Common. This is used to temporarily disable a command that has been set without deleting it. The commands selected as comments will be grayed out and are not executed. 
This function is useful when verifying the operation of an event. Okay. Now on this next page, I just wanted to show you, you probably can't read it, but there's a huge list of commands you can have here. Okay, script commands. Well, and I just explained it. I, like I said before, I haven't delved into it much because I haven't gotten to that point when I've made my RPG, but I can tell you this much, it is very, very complex. And it takes a lot of work and it's very stressful. So take a break when you're trying to do this. If you wanna know about certain commands, just ask. Ask me and I may help you. There are script commands, member commands, events commands, input creation commands, screen display, script branch, script battle, other, all those sorts of commands. Now, there's, now we're gonna talk about the event editor, all right? This is use to register and apply a script to an event. The event editor opens up, opens when script, event, and then create new is selected. Okay, yeah, script is in quotes, event is in quotes, and create new is in quotes. This page describes the items within the editor. Alright, and it just shows, you know, the screen that it shows you. I don't know if you can see that or not. Alright, so we're going to skip that, really, because you could probably see that. Oh! Yeah, the event will move only when the script is set. So you gotta set the script up. Okay, 10 page conditions. This is used to set the conditions of for executing the current page. Place cursor over none in the process. Oh, and press the X button to display the set page condition window. Select a condition from the window and choose the options such as names and values. If conditions need to be met simultaneously across multiple pages, the page but the highest number, closest to 99, will be the first priority, type. This is used to select the model type. Types can be selected from the character object or building uh, things. <laughs> the models available will change depending on the type selected here. Direction. This is used specifically to direct... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. This is used to specify the direction of which the event will face. The default setting is east. Uh, which means it will face right. So if north is set, it will face the back of the screen. Therefore, if you want the event to face forward, the player when north is the back of the screen, the event must be specified to face south. There are eight different directions to choose from. Model. This is used to choose the event graphics. If character, in quotes, is chosen as the type, in quotes, the model list registered in the character model database, in quotes, will be displayed, setting the display type. Next, we'll set the display type. Here we must create a person who will say, good morning, in quotes. Select character, in quotes, as the type, in quotes. Character, in quotes, is already chosen if it's still the default setting. Next, set the direction, in quotes. Usually events will be created with the idea of Back of the screen is north. Front of the screen is south. The direction, the default direction is set to east, and if left alone, the character will be facing to the right. Let's change the direction to south, then type, the type, in quotes, selection will affect the model, in quotes, category. Since it was set as character, in quotes, previously the character model database, in quotes, List will be displayed. Select the model from the list. Okay. Motion. This is used to specify the action or movement in the event using using a script. For example, if you want the action to be set as continuously running through a field of flowers, in quotes, a script must be generated with commands that specify three to the north, all right, or three to the east, etc. This allows the event to be moving without the interaction of the main character. All right, I'm going to check the video again. All right. I don't have too much more time on this video, so I gotta, I'm going to rush this next few steps. This is... Oh, start conditions. This is used to specify the condition of the event to start. 
If the subject is one of the town's folks, the startup condition can be when you talk to them. If the subject is a location movement, the condition would be equal when the leader moves on the top of the event. If the subject is treasure chest, the condition would be you examine it. Or none on the right, oh, in quotes, none in the and the right to the category denotes that the startup condition can be specified through the use of a script. There is no need to specify a script until you get until you get to understand how it works. All right, and this is this will be it for this video. If you have any more questions beyond this point, just ask me and I'll help you. Thank you for watching this video, Diggly. <laughs>